Hello, good, good day place. to you. Well, uh, welcome, welcome to another installment of the Bohemian Disciple podcast. Or video cast. I don't know what makes you qualified to be a podcast. We're happy to be on a, a streaming platform, which we are not. Today we are looking again to Dr. Constantino's Confessions of Sin. He's, these are his writings in the Fourth Commandment. The Fourth Commandment is to honor your father and mother, that your days may be long in the land which the Lord your God gives you. These are the words of Dr. Constantino. Of him who disowned and disparaged you, O Lord, who are infinitely more worthy of esteem and are greater than every other, it will be readily judged that he would do the same to his parents who you have put in your place. You, who join with his father, has for my sake formed both, uh, joining with your father, has for my sake both, formed both earth and heaven, who has spoken me into existence by the word and has brought me forth into light, who has been my father by creation, my sacrifice by redemption, who has begotten me again at the cost of your blood, who is light to guide me, who is an advocate to answer for me, whose benefits and mercies in order to free me from perdition can neither be reckoned nor exaggerated. You have been disowned and disavowed by my heart, so disrespectfully spoken of by my lips, and so irreverently treated by me in my actions. How should I have been otherwise to my parents? who were ministers to furnish me a body and to bring me forth in this short life. <clears throat> For what parent would not he run away who fled so far from you? From whose jurisdiction would he not escape who sought to escape from yours? Whom would he not condemn who condemned you you, the, what would he fear who did not fear your judgment? What benefits would he excite? Or what benefits would excite his gratitude who did not feel thankful for yours? By what should he be moved to reverence others who with such benefits was never moved to reverence you? I have lived as though I have been my own creator, as though I had never received any favors from others. Without law and without superior, proud and ungrateful to all, self-constituted judge of those by whom I had to be judged, needing someone to show me favor, who should rule and govern me, who should bridle and chastise my great licentiousness. I sought to be a man, to emancipate myself from all law. Listen to this last paragraph. It has been my desire that no one should obstruct the indulgence of my appetites. I have abhorred all righteous rule and have sought to render my will absolute in everything. What Dr. Constantino wrote nearly 500 years ago speaks and to us today and speaks for us. It is who we are, where we live. It's the problem we have. We aggrandize ourselves. We um, build up ourselves. We have not enhanced ourselves in any way. And we would think that God stands off as an auxiliary, as a helper to our agenda. God have mercy on us, convict our souls, and show us the way to please and honor you, we pray. Amen. God bless you.